Hi everyone, it's Anne Sinclair from Digestive Detective, take two. <laughs> um, so today I have with me for my five minutes on the couch, Elizabeth Corley from The Nutrition Beautician. So Liz, tell me, how did you get into the position that you're in today? So I've always had a passion for natural beauty and health yes. and wellness. Yep. Um, so I merged my passion of nutrition and beauty together and now I've created a business where I specialize in natural beauty treatments. Perfect. So for people who don't know what a food facial is, um, give us a brief description. So a food facial is where I perform uh, an entire facial um, using only organic foods on the skin. And I make the cleansers, the toners, the exfoliants, the masks, the moisturizers, all in the treatment room, all out of fresh edible ingredients. And I tailor it to address my client's skin mm -hmm. concerns mm -hmm. because all foods have different properties. Yeah. And look, I've had one of these f um, food facials from Liz and they're fantastic. Um, and you can really feel the difference it makes to your skin than a, than a, a product, you know, a chemical product one. So that's yeah. terrific. Um, what was your motivation for getting started? So as a teenager, I had severe eczema and acne. And I tried lots of different treatments that were recommended by dermatologists and doctors um, that really aggravated my mm -hmm. skin. And so I later uh, researched natural remedies yep. and I found those to be incredibly effective. Um, so then I went on to learn more about that and study nutrition and beauty therapy and merge that education education together mm -hmm. to um, create natural effective beauty treatments. Yeah, which is terrific. I think it all blends really nicely together. Yeah. So why does this mean so much to you to get other people on the natural skincare wagon? Because I think a lot of women are told that they have to spend $100 mm -hmm. on a moisturizer yeah, or $500 on a chemical peel. Yeah. And my mission is to educate women about how they can actually make... Um, skincare that's natural but also effective at home in their kitchen and it's incredibly cost effective as well terrific we this way. so for people who don't know you what's one thing that you like to do um, that people might not know about you so I'm a really big advocate for raising awareness about mental health mm -hmm. in Australia mm -hmm. and lifting the stigma around mental health conditions in Australia so I volunteer as a lifeline crisis supporter and I'm there to support people who are having a hard time. Yeah, that's great. And I know that Liz has done this for a really long time, so it's a really great cause um, to be on. And, and having um, some kids that have had mental health issues this year, I think it's a really positive message to get out into the community. Yeah. Um, so tell me what you do for fun. I love just relaxing at home, um, watching a movie with my husband and eating some munchies. <laughs> Yeah, that all sounds Simple cool. girl. Simple girl. What's one thing that you think everybody can do to improve their health? Have a really good night's sleep. Yep. So yep. why do you think that's important? It's important because when we're asleep, our brain detoxifies mm -hmm. itself. Mm -hmm. And it also ensures that our hormones um, are well balanced mm -hmm. so that we're feeling great the next day, so that we're feeling energized. And it's also um, a free uh, anti-aging Tipped as yeah, well. Good. Yeah. Good, good. So what's your definition, your personal definition of health? My definition of health is having your physical, psychological, emotional and spiritual well being balanced and intact. Yeah, good. That's a really I think that's a really good lesson for people to learn that we need all those things in the right proportions Absolutely. To, to be a healthy um, happy human being. Yeah. Uh, so why is it important for you to have the community involved with what you're up to? I want to really raise awareness and educate women about making that transition over to mm -hmm. natural beauty because I think a lot of women don't realize the level of toxic exposure they are getting from their skincare and their makeup. And I, I want to educate women on how they can make their own natural skincare and also love the skin they're in and help to kind of take the pressure off women about looking a certain way and having to... Um, I guess get plastic surgery mm. and things like that mm -hmm. and just yeah show them how they can make natural skincare at home and love yeah. the skin they're in which I think is a really good thing too because you know we we were talking about before that it's about um, before a woman works out of the door in the morning there's, she's already put about 500 chemicals on her skin which yeah. you know in terms of how your thyroid and, and your other body systems work is um, quite um, 
difficult for your body to have to process all that over and over again. Absolutely. So, so tell us what's next for Elizabeth McCauley, the nutrition beautician. So this year I'll be releasing an ebook yep. with all of my recipes and tips and tricks on uh, yeah natural beauty and and how you can make your own skincare at home. Mm, perfect. I look forward to that. So everybody should get onto that when it comes out. So Liz, tell tell me where can people keep in touch with you and how can they find you on social media? So they can visit my website, thenutritionbeautician.com.au or they can find me over on Instagram yep. under The Nutrition Beautician and also I'm on Facebook. So they can visit my Facebook page, The Nutrition Beautician. Thank you, Liz, for Thanks spending so five minutes on the couch with me today. Mm -hmm. I look forward to um, seeing you all next month for the next um, five minutes on the couch and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great afternoon. Thanks.